Right, we've got an awkward little job to do here. Um, not even sure if we can do it. This is end casing of the starter motor, and it's got some really nasty cracks in it. Um, but not just nasty cracks, it's distorted as well. So, oh, it doesn't even make sense looking at this again now. You can see this alignment here, the, that bit and this bit just don't line up there. There's about, I don't know, three millimetres of misalignment going on there. But... Yeah, this, this end bit, which has got the bush in, kind of looks like it needs to be pushed, pushed over that way, but then it's kind of not going to fit. God. We need to try and straighten this out. We could just weld up the cracks. That would not be... A problem. Just grind this out so they've got somewhere to put the filler filler rod. And yeah, you could just grind that out, uh, grind that out and weld it up. But it's not going to be lined up. So I'm not at all sure how we're going to go about doing this. I think I will try and anneal it. We've already already tried squishing this in a vise. You know, just squeezing that. And yeah, it kind of gets better, but then it, it just pops out again. So we've either got to squeeze it into position and then weld it, or as I say, I'll try and anneal it first and see if we can get it back into some kind of shape and hopefully it will stay there rather than springing back again like it is now so see if that helps Okay, might be alright. Hmm.
analysis. We're going back where it needs to go, I don't think, as is quite often the case with within broken castings. When I was trying to anneal this thing, I was getting a lot of smoke coming out of the bush that's in the end of this. So I'm not sure if I could have gone very far with that. So we've just got to try and squeeze this together while we weld it. Oh, it's very odd the way that side kind of matches and here it, it really doesn't. It's almost as if this part has been bent in. So I don't know if I can just, if I just squeeze this top bit in, close this gap and weld it up while it's being held, whether that will do. I think that's about all I can try really. And if it turns out that the bush in, in the end here is not lined up with the center line of the the whole thing anymore then well tough they'll have to wait four weeks to get a new one um, let's see what we can do with clamping it and welding it right I'm just trying to close this crack up Trying to pull this over this way. And is this. Well, this clamp is tight. And I'm hoping that that gap there is what I put in when I used the cutter in the die grinder. Um, this looks tight here. This looks like that's tight together along here. So I think the best I can do is to just try and try and weld that as it is. Okay.
that's not looking too terrible. There's some tiny little pinholes right on the edge of the, the world there. You quite often get that. And there's a chance that if I try and re-melt that, they might go, they might not, they might come back. Um, so I think I will leave them as they are. Bit of soot on that side there. Touchdown. But that's not too terrible. The inside looks. Yeah, the inside doesn't look great. I don't think there's anything that I can do about that. I should have cleaned the actual part. It looks fairly clean to begin with, but I didn't wipe it over with anything. I didn't brush it, which was sloppy practice, really. But that's back together. Let's have another look on the inside. Oh dear. Yeah. Quite often you find with die casting is that the melting point is, is pretty low and the bit that you're trying to weld kind of melts way quicker than your welding rods, your filler rods, so um, sometimes it gets a little, little bit away from you. Oh, it would be so nice to melt that in from the inside. If I can get a torch in there I might see if I can do that. Well, yeah, I did manage to get a torch inside there and just flowed the uh, the metal in a bit nicer on the inside has a couple of holes in there but I think that's going to have to do whether it's lined up or not is another question but it's back together So all I can do is wait for it to cool down, take it back to the guy and see if it will fit on the rest of the motor. Well looking at previous bits of video I could see that I hadn't got to the end of this crack, it carried on along here, so I've just filed that out a bit. I'm just going to carry on a little bit more weld along here, and I'm going to have another look at the inside. I don't know if I can get to the... There's a bit of the crack still showing on the inside here, and I don't know if I can get to that. But I'm going to have a go. And I'm also going to do this bit here where I said there's a couple of pinholes and I was going to leave it, but I'm going to try and see if I can improve that. Also because it looked like there's a bit of a crater at the end of the world. I'll just file that over and it doesn't look too bad now, but yeah, we'll have a little go at that as well. Right, this really is done as much as we can now. I'll run a weld down there. I've cleaned up or tidied up the end of this weld a bit where there's a couple of pinholes in it. It kind of looked like there's a bit of a crater but it wasn't really but that's all kind of smoothed over a bit more. And I've also did a little bit more inside. Just ran the torch across these again and that one in there, down the bottom. 
So yeah, that is welded up as good as we can get it, I think. Now whether that is straight or not, who knows. Um, we shall find out maybe tomorrow.